So welcome to our team call tonight. I appreciate that all of you guys took the time out of your schedule to hop on. I do have just a couple slides to go over with you and then we'll get into who you're all here for, which is our guest speaker, Candace. So let me quickly share my screen. Oh, and I'm gonna mute everyone too. All right, so welcome to our call. I'm gonna first start off with some Success Club highlights. We have lots of people that have locked in Success Club already this month. We have Ashley Robustiano and Nicole Faulkner at 14. Chelsea Romano and Nicole Masson with 10 points or five people. Carly with nine. Andrea McCracken with eight and myself is at eight. Gina Cooper, T Tiffany Miller, Lauren Osborne and Sandy Glant is at six. And then so many of you guys, I counted and I think we had five people on this side last week and look at how many people we have this week. So lots of you guys are moving your businesses forward. We've got Taylor, Michelle, Nicole, Ashley, Brandy, Bailey, Gretchen, Kate, and Megan all at four points. You guys just need to help one more person to lock it in. Then we've got Brianna, Caitlin, Jackie, Elise, Sydney, Lauren, Ashley, Sarah, Ashley, Julianne, Jessica, Ashley, Natalie, Travis, Emily, Clarissa, Paige, Justin, Ashley, Caitlin, Tessa, Mallory, Brooke, and Tara, all with two points. So just two more people and you guys will lock it in. So awesome job. If you guys are not on this list, but it's still your goal to hit Success Club or help three people, there's still more than enough time if you're willing to take action and do the things you know that you need to do. Next, for climbing up the ladder, I'm going to start recognizing our team for the leadership ladder. If you don't know what that is, Maybe I'll do like a live video on that to refresh you guys on the leadership ladder. But this is, it's very, it, uh, Beachbody is looking at lots of different areas beyond Success Club that really determines your success as a coach. So things like, yes, your Success Club points, um, the number of coaches that you have hitting Success Club, weak leg volume, a bunch of stuff. So based on all of that criteria, myself and Ashley LaSure are team leaders. Team builders, we have Ashley Robustiano, Nicole Faulkner, Nicole Mastin, Carly Dunlevy, Sandy Glant, you need to change your name, and Nicole Bowers. And then business stars, we've got Chelsea Romano, Andrea McCracken, Tiffany Miller, Bailey Rosberg, Gretchen Hawley, Megan Miller, Jackie Newberry, Julianne Lundy, Travis Mastin, Justin Faulkner, Caitlin Thiel, Mallory Flynn, Jessica Vunk, Shannon Mataraki, uh, Sandy Knox, Kristen McKenzie, Lana Lawrence, and Joni Rayburn. So congrats, you guys. And just some quick reminders, Challenge Pack Promotions, you guys should all know this by now. We've got lots on sale. Um, the one that has been doing the best for me is Core de Force, partly because I'm doing it. Uh, so it's been much easier to promote, to promote and lots of people have been interested. We've got a few there. This week's focus for you guys, invites to the health bet. Um, the health bet is January 9th to February 13th. If you don't know what that is for some reason, we've got lots of videos in our team page about it. Um, and if you have an event page for the health bet, make sure that you keep posting in there to get more engagement and to get people interested and committed to join in on that. And then extra, this was from last week actually. We've got a new team name, Fit Vibes Tribe. Um, and then I was gonna say one other thing that's important and I'll probably think about it as Candace gets talking. So we will jump right into Candace. Um, she's going to be talking about failing forward and more. She's got a lot of stuff for you guys to take away. So take notes and um, jot down questions if you have them for her. She is a 12-star diamond. She's got 22 personally sponsored diamonds. She's a two-time elite coach. She's founder of the Fit Mama Inc. Or I, I see her Fit Mama stuff all over the place. They think of it as like the empire. Um, but she was also... She's a stay-at-home mom of three, and she was the one of the organizers of the Boston Super Saturdays. So I saw her on stage there, and it was like such a fun, organized, knowledgeable event. They were awesome. So Candice, feel free to take it away. Thank you so much for that introduction. I'm so excited to talk to you guys tonight. I have a lot to talk about. Um, 
But before I start rambling, I want to tell you all a little bit about myself and about this last year of my life, because I'm sure you hear these accolades and you're like, wow, this is great. I mean, she does well. She's really moving her business forward. She's probably had no hurdles and no speed bumps in her life. And, you know, success has just been, you know, so easy. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not true. Um, I actually was reading a book tonight, um, which is very rare because I'm not a book reader. I'm an audio book listener. Um, it was a John Addison book. And I don't know the name of it. I forget. It was a leadership book. Samantha, I don't know if you remember. They gave it to us at leadership. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to read you this quote. I read it. I was like, I got to say this on the, quote, on the call tonight. When people win at roulette, that's luck. When people win at life, it's not luck. It's because they learn how to meet circumstances head on and respond in a way that works. Okay? So that's how I want to preface this call. So tell you guys, I just had my third child in July of this year. So I have three kids ages seven, five, and my little Roma is going to be five months on Saturday, on, on Christmas day. Um, so, um, I've been pregnant for a lot of this year. Um, I've been a horrible product of the product. I have scoliosis. I'm like the most miserable pregnant person you'll meet when it comes to fitness. It's like, you know, I used to be a fitness competitor in my twenties and, um, you know, I, I just always envisioned myself that when I was pregnant, that I was going to really, you know, just be so fit and exercise and stuff, but I just can't like when I put the weight on, it just hurts my back. And I try, um, I, I was a hustle, horrible product of the product barely worked out when I was pregnant, barely. Like I tried. Um, and then, uh, my husband and I were diagnosed with Lyme disease earlier this year, which was really fun. And, that actually mixed with being pregnant was horrible because I had terrible, terrible fatigue. Um, you know, the night before I hit 12 star, I hit 12 star, I don't know, in June. And I was up all night putting out fires. I'm like, oh my God, this is like crazy. All of that stress, I was in bed the entire next day. The entire next day, just like the Lyme disease just came out and was like, let's get this woman in bed the whole next day. And that had happened like a couple times, you know, over the, the pregnancy. Um, then, you know, had the baby and it's funny because I, I work with a lot of pregnant coaches and they're like, Oh my God, working this business is so hard. Let me tell you something. When you have the baby, it's much harder. So you better get your butt moving while you're pregnant because when that baby comes, things are going to get really tough. And that's, that's, what's going to test you. Those first six weeks, I was like, Whoa, I don't know if I'm ever going to coach again, <laughs> but, um, I did, I, I tried to stay focused and but anyway, I'm veering off. Um, my husband and I, you know, we are both, we've both been able to be home. Um, and my husband took a step back from his landscaping business and allowed the guy that was running it just to, just to run it for him. And my husband was pretty much retired, so to speak, um, just kind of running his business behind the scenes. Well, in September, that guy totaled our dump truck and lost his leg. So my husband had to go back to work. He had to go back to work like the day that my kids went back to school and I had to now shuffle all three kids out of the house while on very little sleep. I was like, oh my God, but I thought that we were going to, I was going to be home and you were going to take the kids to school. Not the case. So um, my husband had to go back to work and he's been working ever since. So, uh, and, and I mean, he helps me out a ton, but this is just what happened. Um, then, uh, September, about the middle of September, um, I got a call from my brother crying, um, saying that my dad called him saying he couldn't breathe. And you, you know, I, I mean, my soul just died at that moment. So I'm like, what is going on? And, uh, come to find out my dad needed emergency triple bypass and a valve repair which I don't know if any of you have ever had a relative have that surgery, but they're on a heart and lung machine. So while they're on this heart and lung machine, you just have to sit and wait for them to like get them going again. When, and when it's your parent, it's horrible. So 
I still think I have a little PTSD from that. So now, uh, this has pretty much been my year. I had every reason to say, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. But I did. And I had the most successful year I have had as a coach. I hit SC10 almost every single month, except for like September and October. Did I hit in October? No, it was seven in October. I was 14 last month. I'm 11 right now. Um, and hopefully I think that I have hit the goal of being an elite coach for the third time this year. So I had so many flipping excuses. And so unfortunately when I hear excuses from my coaches, I'm like, I, I'm sorry. Like I can't listen to that because like, I get it. I'm not, I'm not mean. I don't want you guys to think I'm mean. I just know that there's never going to be a time in your life that you're going to wake up and go, Oh, today's the perfect day to be successful because you're going to have muddy waters today, next week, next month, next year. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. So you just need to acclimate and power through. So now that you know about my life in a nutshell, um, I want to talk to you guys about making the best of this week, this coming week, um, the coming few weeks. Um, I had been doing a group with my success partner, Shane Fryer. It's called the Five Day Business Boost. And we're basically giving people these copy and paste invites. Um, and for a lot of them, this was a very scary task. Because these guys have been failing miserably all year long. Guys, if you're not failing, you're not working hard enough. So remember that. We have to fail in order to succeed. So this was a really big failing forward moment for these coaches and a huge aha moment for them to go, wow, Candace, we weren't doing any of that. So I'm going to tell you guys what I told them. And it's real simple. Um, you're going to have to take massive action right now because we're approaching the busiest time of the year. And if you don't use this time to your advantage, I'm, I'm at a loss because this is it. This is the time. Okay. Everyone has their new year's resolution, new me, new you, new whatever. You need to get on that. Just like, you know, when, um, Starbucks is advertising their peppermint mocha latte at the holiday season. Well, if Dunkin' Donuts is advertising the peppermint mocha latte in February, well, guess what, Dunks? You missed the boat. So, you know, we want to really work that aspect of the business now. So I want you, number one, make a list of 100 names. Yep, 100 names. Wicked scary. Yes, I'm from Boston, and we say wicked. Um, you're going to go into your coach online office and you're going to see who has bought BOD from you in the past, who is on Shakeology on HD, because you want to tell them, hey, guess what? You can actually get your shakes cheaper next month. If you get this pack, it's $199. Join my health bet. It's pretty much like getting your shakes for 100 bucks. It's a no-brainer. So you're going to go in your coach online office. You're going to scour those people. Um, you're going to go through your Facebook friends. For whatever reason they stick out in your mind, I want you to write their name down. It's going to take probably about a half hour for you to sit down and go through these names because there's going to be people on there and you're going to go, oh my God, I totally talked to that person and I forgot. So this is going to, you're going to have to put some skin in the game and start going through your list. I want you to go through your old Facebook messages. I want you to go back as far as humanly possible, okay? If you're a seasoned coach, you might go back four years and you'll be shocked at who you find. Number four, I want you to go into the back office and I want you to print the memory jogger. This is such an underused document that we have. It's like six pages long, but you'll... See, you'll think of people that you completely forgot about. That's why it's called the memory jogger, okay? Um, now, once you have this list, you're going to be really aggressive. And aggressive has a negative connotation, but this is the word we're going to use. It's aggressive. I want you to start with 10 invites and 10 forms tonight. I want you to do it tonight, okay? 
10 invites, 10 forms. I'll give Samantha a copy paste invite for you. So there'll be no reason for you to say, Oh, I didn't know what to say. No, I'm going to tell you what to say. I'm even going to tell you what to say for your form. It's going to be real easy. All the guesswork is going to take, be taken out of it. And all you need to do is copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. The only thing I want you to do is insert their name because you should always insert, you should always address people by their name. It makes them feel like that you really care about them. Okay. Um, now anyone that's interested, you want to throw them in an event page. Uh, it sounds like that you guys probably have event pages going on. Um, or if you don't, um, you want to tell them about your health bet and invite them to the, the challenge tracker app. All right. Now what I do in my event page is I pepper the page every single day. I go live. I say, you know, welcome to the group. You know, another day I say, I want to share a little bit, a little bit about my journey. Some of the programs I love. Um, I told people on in my, I tell people in my event page, you know, here's my house, like here's my kitchen, it's messy, I have three kids, here's my living room, you know, this is where I work out, it's not perfect, but it works, and I get in shape. So um, I, I even shared with this last, this uh, event page that I have, that um, core to force was really tough for me as a postpartum mom. You know, 47 minute workouts are really tough when you're trying to squeeze that in while a baby's napping. So most days I didn't finish the 47 minute workout. I only got 20 minutes in. I still got good results, um, but it wasn't 47 minutes. But you know, part of my audience, I work with a lot of postpartum moms as I tell them, it's progress, not perfection. Like, don't just not do the workout because it's 47 minutes. Do it, but, you know, just have a lower expectation of what you can accomplish. Okay? Um, so with these people that are interested in your um, health back group, once it's time, once the group is ending, um, you want to wrap it up. So if people are going to join your health bet, you need to get these orders in by December 29th. So that's approaching. So you're going to want to reach out to them. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Um, you know, go over their goals, their work schedule, because the work schedule is vital. And then with that, you need to make a suggestion and get them on the phone and walk them through the process. Okay. Reason why we want to walk them through the process is if somebody has a Mac, Safari never works. So I always say, hey, do you have a Mac? Great. Why don't you get on Chrome and let's do it there because I always have issues with Safari. All right. And then maybe they can FaceTime you or whatever so you can see what's going on. Um, so um, I'm going to give you two pieces, of, two, um, two pieces of PD to listen to. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bob Heilig. Um, your virtual upline. I am legit obsessed with this guy. Like I want to wallpaper my house with his face because when he talks, I get so fired up. And these two podcasts that we've been doing with this five day business boost has been such an eye opener. Number one, it's called success requires struggle. I don't know what number um, podcast it is. Let me see if I can, I think it's one of the first ones. Hold on one second. To do success requires struggles episode 42 and then another favorite of mine and this one's gonna be a, a, a real eye-opener for you it's called how to market a new launch or service um, no sales and marketing strategies for new product launches sorry I totally butchered that that's episode 40 okay I want you guys to do it you know if you have to do a little focus group with just you guys just in a group to say we're doing it together, a little push group, do it, listen to it, share ideas. And, um, you know, guys, at the end of the day, you really have to put skin in the game during these times where there's a product launch, it's the new year. And, I promise you that if you do these tasks, you will fail forward so hard. You will blow your mind at the um, success that you will have. You will be empowered. When people respond to your messages, you'll go, oh my God, I did it. They responded. It makes you feel good. And that's another reason why we do these 
activities is not just to re reach out to people, but it's, it's on the job training. If you don't do it, you, nothing's ever going to prepare you for that conversation. You can read 45 books on how to have conversations with people, but unless you talk to them, you're not going to get that practice. Okay. Um, I always tell my coaches, when they get nervous, sometimes like in a training group, I'll be like, oh, can you do a video, put a video together? And they're like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I don't want to go live. I don't want to do a video. I'm like, hold on one minute. I send them my first video I ever made on how I got to Diamond. It was like a training group. I sounded like a robot, weirdo, um, I don't know. It was just a very, and, and then when I explained how I got to diamond, I totally like didn't say it right. I said, all I needed was four coaches on each leg, not like four coaches and an emerald on each leg. So I totally said it wrong. And now like, and so when my, I show my coaches that they're like, Oh yeah, you definitely don't talk like that now. I'm like, well, that's because I kept forcing myself in these situations. So I got better. Like I would never do a team call for somebody you know, a couple of years ago, this is just now I'm like comfortable. Like I talk a lot and we've done super Saturday and all that stuff. So, um, you know, another thing too, guys is this business takes time. It takes time. And one thing that it takes that a lot of people forget is it takes patience. You have to be patient. You knew when you signed up that this wasn't a get rich quick scheme, but there was something in you that made you feel like you could do this. You know, when I first started, I was inspired by Lindsay Matway. I was like, oh my gosh, this girl was a bartender. Like, and I was a bartender. Okay. When I first started Beachbody, I was a bartender and I was like, oh, she was a bartender and you know, she, oh, wow, she's had so much success and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, if she can do it. Why can't I do it? I can do it. So I pushed every single day with the mindset of if she can do it, I can do it. You know, you can do it guys, but you gotta, you have to put the work in. Okay. Everything you do is a little deposit on your future. Okay. What do they say? Like, um, about success, you have to make payments every single day. You know, you start at zero every day. So, um, I hope you guys have, have feel a little bit inspired by this. Um, I'd love to take some questions. If anybody has any questions about my strategy here, I would copy and paste these scripts down below, but I don't think it's gonna, I, I'd rather just give them to Samantha and she can give them to you. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. I um, I love what you said about the video because so I've been coaching for three years and today on my Facebook time hop thing, a video popped up from last year and I was saying, oh, I was explaining what maxing out meant. So maybe it was two years ago, whenever Max 30 came out and I was also like a zombie. I was like staring at the same spot, not even at the camera. And I was like, I tried to explain it. And I explained it completely wrong. And I'm like, now I'm just so much more comfortable doing it, but it's because I've like been doing it, especially with live videos. It's so easy now. Yeah, it's great. One of my diamonds, she, I met her through the customer lead program. And when she, when she joined, she wasn't even on Facebook. She had no Facebook friends. Like I had to walk her through like friending people and all that. And now she's a diamond and she, um, does these, she, She's like, I need to do videos. I need to come out of my shell. I was like, okay. And just a couple weeks ago, she's like, I am feeling so confident about doing these videos. Like I just, you know, they, it just feels so natural to me now. And this is someone that like, wasn't even on Facebook. She's like from some small town in Texas. Uh, so it's like, I love seeing this. Like anyone can do it if you just throw yourself into it. Yeah. All right. Does anyone have any questions? You can unmute yourself or just type in the chat box, whatever you're comfortable with. That's okay. I know most of you guys are probably thinking about Christmas and stuff, but, um, you know, don't get complacent because even though you think you're being ignored right now by your audience, if you've been making a really good Facebook presence, 
if you've been marketing yourself and staying consistent and being out there and engaging with people on Monday, when all of you start blasting Facebook with your before and after photos or that of somebody on your team, they're going to remember you and they're going to know that I can trust that person because she shows up every day and, um, they're going to come back around. They're just thinking about Santa right now. That's all. Yeah. I love your tip too. I think you gave it in the beach by champions page, how like now is the time to push because January is so big, especially for leads that we need to like hit success club and become Emerald this month so that you, we get those leads. Yes, actually, I'm so glad you brought that up because I saw that beautiful list that you put together in the beginning. And all I could think of was if all of those people just sold like two all access challenge packs, they would hit SC10. Guys, these challenge packs are money. Okay, money. Not only are you going to make 70 bucks commission, but you're going to be able to help somebody well after that month of a program that they wanted to do initially. So I had somebody today tell me, they're like, you know, I bought country heat, but I fell off and I'm like, all right, well, you know, you've got it on demand. Like, let's move on to another program. Like whatever. I mean, I've done programs too and I've hated them, but like this pack is such an easy sell. So I, I'm going to give you guys scripts galore of, of what to say. Like we gave our business boost group a bunch of scripts and they've got people lined up waiting for this pack. So if you're not sharing this with people privately, I mean, I'm not a big proponent in like, Hey, there's this challenge pack. It's on, you know, posting it on the newsfeed. I think you can do it, but in, you know, the appropriate way, but don't miss the boat on this. Number one, it's three success club points. You know, if, if you've never hit success club before, you can sell, help two people and you'll hit success club and make $140 and pay for your shakes. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm, that don't, that's a whole other call. I can get really excited about that. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that because that was the big thing that I forgot to mention earlier in, like the, in that script thing. Yeah. All access challenge pack. If you haven't listened to Carl's call yet, I post it on our team page or go back and listen to the national wake up call. I'm going to do a live video tomorrow. So become familiar with that because yeah, like Candace said, it's going to be huge for your business. Amen. Yeah. All right, last minute questions. Any, any takers? I have something for you. Can you guys hear me? It's Megan. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I'm walking right now and I was watching on the train and um, now I'm walking to my car, but okay. So I'm, um, I feel like I'm a little bit in, in a different position than um, a lot of kind of my coaching community is, you know, I quit all my jobs and dove headfirst into the coaching business and you know, really just kind of went into this, um, you know, on a leap of faith and, and completely committed to it. But um, like you said, it, it takes time. It takes consistency. And I know that in the future, it's definitely going to pay off. But right now, it is a freaking struggle. You know, my, my bank account is definitely not reflecting my efforts yet. And so I'm curious, um, you know, when you're in a position of maybe not having that success yet, how do you attract people to what you feel is like, you know, I, I feel like I'm kind of failing right now, even though I know I'm failing forward. It's hard when you're feeling a little bit like a failure to really put out that vibe of success and attract that to you. So do you have any kind of tips or have you been in a position where things were not going great for your business? You know, how do you grow kind of with that around you? So I grew purely on my excitement, my excitement for the programs. I mean, you can tell, like, I'm a very passionate, outgoing Italian person. Like, I am just like, blah, all the time. But, like, I'm an extrovert, but, like, Liz Hartke, Liz Hartke's an introvert. She's a good friend of mine. And she does very, very well in this business. So, you know, she can communicate her passions to people of, on the business. So, you know, I feel like your passion and your drive and your enthusiasm is infectious. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing, just because you haven't had success doesn't mean you can't point to someone else and go, Oh, look at this person. Because all the people that I recruited in the beginning, I was saying, look at 
Lindsay Matway. Look at Jessica Vandenberg. Like, look at these coaches. I was like, check them. They're doing so well. You know, look what they did. Like, this one retired her husband, and this guy used to be a lawyer, and now he's a beach body coach. And, and this girl paid off $400,000 in medical bills. Like, we can do this. So, showing what other people have done. Ha I, that's all I did in the beginning. I mean, I was making $75 a week as a bartender when I signed up as a coach, you know, stay at home mother with $30,000 in credit card debt. So there was nothing pretty about my picture at all, you know, but you have to go to these events, go to super Saturday, go to summit, show people that you're committed and that you're there. You know, I, I could not afford to go to summit when I went. I came home for my first Super Saturday. I said to my husband, I said, listen, I know you're going to be mad at me, but I just need to tell you I'm going to Las Vegas and I'm charging it. And he was like, what? I'm like, yes, just don't say anything. I just, I'm going. And he was like, all right. And he's like the most supportive husband in the world. But I came back and my business exploded because when I went there, I realized all the things I was doing wrong and came home and started implementing like a crazy woman and everything exploded. So, you know, you seem like you're pretty excited and passionate and, you know, you just have to run on that. Like be the cheerleader, bleed that beach body blue, like all over the place, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So I don't know if you guys missed it at all, but Candace gave us a challenge. She wants us to do 10 invites tonight and 10 forming with people. So I'm going to start a little thread, I guess, in our team page. Um, and I want you guys to comment in there. I'll post the scripts that she's going to send me in there. And then I want you guys to comment in that um, post your updates, how many you've done, the responses that you're getting, any questions you have, any convos that you need help with scripting or how to overcome objections. Um, for example, the first question you're gonna get is how much does it cost? So I'll help you overcome that so you don't slurt out a number before adding any value. So that's our challenge. And if you guys have any other questions for Candace, you can always reach out to me and then I can convey to her. Um, but thank you guys for hopping on our call tonight and thank you so much, Candace, for giving all of your tips to my thank team. You. Thank you so much, guys. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye, guys.